Introduction to World Wide Web. Tim Berners-Lee, a software engineer at CERN, was tired of the long time it took to get responses from his colleagues. He had an idea of a system that will enable quicker responses. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee put his thoughts in writing. He wrote a proposal that envisaged a system of interlinked documents that would be stored in a variety of locations and contain links to one another. It was to be a browser-based hypertext system that eventually became the World Wide Web. In December 1990, the system he envisaged was developed and officially launched. This is the first ever web page and it still exists till today. In July 1992, the first ever photo is posted to the World Wide Web. It is the picture of the girlfriends and secretaries of CERN's scientists. In April 1993, Mosaic, a browser by Mark Anderson that could display text and images at the same time was launched creating the anatomy of the modern web page. In the same year, CERN announces that the World Wide Web will be available for free for anyone. In January 1994, two Stanford University students, Jerry Yang and David Philo, create a website called Jerry and David's Guide to the World Wide Web, which was later renamed Yahoo. It is a directory of other websites arranged in hierarchy and subcategories and later became one of the largest web portals in the world. In September 1997, two more Stanford University students, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, started a research project on how the web was organized, which led to a creation of a search engine called Google. Google crawled the web to find relevant results to searches by order based on which websites had the most links to them. In August 2003, Chris DeWolf and Tom Anderson launched an enormously popular website, MySpace. MySpace allows users to build profiles and connect with one another, creating the foundation of a social web. February 2004, less than a year later, a Harvard student named Mark Zuckerberg, along with his college roommates in Harvard University, invents a similar social networking website called Facebook. As at 2014, there are several websites for different needs which have been created, and the World Wide Web has surpassed over a billion websites. The World Wide Web is an information system on the internet that allows documents to be connected to other documents by hypertext links, enabling the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. The World Wide Web is abbreviated as WWW and sometimes simply called the Web. The World Wide Web is not a synonym for the Internet. We define the Internet as a network of networks where a lot of information resides. The World Wide Web, however, is a subset of the Internet. It is an information sharing model that is built on top of the Internet. It consists of pages that can be accessed using the web browser over the medium of the internet. A website is a location connected to the internet that maintains one or more web pages. An example is the JAMB website. Its location address is www.jamb.org.ng. The first page is the home page. This is an introductory page of the website that typically serves as a table of content for the site. Other pages are subsets of the website and are called web pages. The World Wide Web uses some protocols that govern the exchange or transmission of data between devices. One of these protocols is the hypertext markup language abbreviated as HTML. HTML is the publishing format for the web. It is a system for formatting text files to give them font, color, and graphics and describing links to other text files on the web. Another protocol is Hypertext Transfer Protocol, abbreviated as HTTP. HTTP defines how messages are transmitted and what actions web servers and browsers should take in response to various commands. For example, when you enter a website address such as www.wikipedia.com, or what is referred to as a uniform resource locator URL in your browser, 
it actually sends an HTTP command to the web server, directing it to fetch and transmit the requested website. Philip Emiagwali from Nigeria is a math whiz. While he was in school, he was called calculus by his mates. Philip came up with the formula for allowing a large number of computers to communicate at once, which contributed to the development of the World Wide Web as it is today. He discovered that a network of 65,536 computers is a supercomputer, and the understanding that 1 million 48,576 interconnected email wires is a super internet. He enables Nigeria to contribute to the development of the World Wide Web. Let's see some websites on the internet. After checking to ensure we have internet access, we double click on our browser. Let's go to Philippe Miegueli's website. In the address bar, we type in his website address. The address is www.philippemegwelli.com. As it opens, we can see the biography and achievements of Dr. Philip. We can also check the JAMB website by typing in the address www.jamb.org.ng in the address bar. The website opens and we can see the information contained in it. www.jam.org.ng is a typical web address. A typical email address is joyudoka2001 at yahoo.com. The significant difference between both of them is that all websites start with www. While all, all email addresses must have the at sign. Popular software used to develop the web are JavaScript, HTML, PHP, and MySQL. In summary, the World Wide Web is an information system on the internet that allows documents to be connected to other documents by hypertext links, enabling the user to search for information by moving from one document to another. The World Wide Web is not a synonym for the internet, but it is a subset of the internet. Nigeria contributed to the development of the web through Philip Emigueli, who came up with the formula for allowing a large number of computers to communicate. Significant difference between an email address and a website address is that email addresses have the at sign and web addresses start with www.